patients that don't have a normal ejection fraction and fall into that category of grade one diastolic dysfunction, they still most of the time will have normal filling pressures. It's possible that they could be slightly abnormal, but they're not significantly abnormal. So the most change that you'll see is the change to the mitral inflow pattern as well as the tissue velocity Doppler. The pulmonary Doppler doesn't really change much for grade one diastolic dysfunction. So for grade one, again, the mitral inflow pattern will show E to A reversal. There will also be E prime to A prime reversal on the tissue velocity Doppler as well. In grade one diastolic dysfunction, again, there's really no significant change to the pulmonary Doppler. There's no change from the normal findings because the left atrial pressure is still normal. 